Welcome to the Creative Connections Podcast, connecting creatives and geeks all over the planet, one tiny podcast at a time, once a week. We are grateful to be sponsored by several software tools sold in our tech shop at creativeconnections.tech. Check it out today and see what new tools we have for your business or creativity. And now, here is your hostess of Creative Connections, putting hashtag art and apps on the map, Stacy Brayuga. And it is Thursday at 2 o'clock again. How do I know that? Because I'm here. <laughs> what? Which is good, because that means I'm where I'm supposed to be, right? At any given moment in time, ma'am. Oh, and sometimes that's scary. Um, so, today's show, and my eyes are watering. It's a good thing I didn't put eye makeup on today. Today's show is going to take a little bit different path from our previous yeah. shows. A little, little understatement much? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. Um, we're going to take a different path from our previous shows, and we are going to delve deep into the creative realm of life in a variety of ways. My guest, right over here, is one of the most intuitive people I know. She can help people reach around themselves and find their true self just by meeting you, just by meeting with you. So like she could like help you figure out who your true self is just by meeting with you. Your purpose. I've seen, I've seen Which her. Is weird. Yeah. It, I mean, I didn't mean to interrupt, but it's no. weird. It's, it's, I don't know, maybe it's a point of view thing, but you know, outsider always, you know, looking That's in, true. a lot easier than like self actualization sometimes. Cause it's, I even, you know, those who can do and those who can't teach. So here I am teaching. <laughs> uh huh. And you were blessed to be brought up by and taught by your mama. mother, your mama, yeah. Mute. Yeah, Manamuti. Manamuti. Yeah, who, that means my mom. Who imported, imparted a lot of traditional wisdom with you. Yeah. Like deep. Um. Well, okay. Well, she she was she was part of that hippie resistance generation, um, and so like the a couple my formative years, off and on were spent in communes and just I wasn't boxed in to any sort of like I wasn't forced. What what am I looking for? What are, you didn't what have forced for? assimilation to the United States. <laughs> Okay. Even I though you grew up here. <laughs> but, um, I was going to go with, yeah, because they were a bunch of anarchists too, but I was going to go with, I wasn't forced to follow some sort of already set in stone doctrine or belief system like, you know, Christianity or whatever. She always taught me to, okay, you can, I want you to read it all. I want you to know it all, but I also want you to not just take it as truth. Question. Question. And like her main thing was, I promise you all the answers are within you. Just got to know how to ask the right questions. You know, um, and, and I, um. No, it's her birthday, actually. Really? Yeah, so this is, this is I all wonder good. how we, I wonder how we ended up today. So yeah, our, what you guys, what I, what I didn't say at the beginning is, is this show was actually supposed to happen a couple weeks ago. It couldn't because we had some things happen. So it's episode eight, even though we've already done nine and ten. It's episode eight redo. Um. And this is my dear friend, Miss Cat, and um, she's going to tell you. She's going to tell you guys that she is that she and technology don't get along. Oh, we don't. Oh, but, we don't. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I am going to argue <laughs> that <laughs> she lights up a Facebook Live camera like nobody else, and it's all natural. She hits go live and rocks it because I have seen her on camera a lot and I have seen her off camera. And for the most part, what you get on camera and what you get off camera essentially can be the same thing. Now, yeah, I'm, I can only be me. That's the only thing I've mastered in this life is being me. And I'm still trying to perfect it, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty close to, you know, 
mastering the whole me thing. I'm just saying. I can't really beat anybody else but me. Um, and as far as the Facebook Live thing goes, it's not to be funny. It's not for other people. It It's legitimately for me because I get these things just in my head that, like, rambles, I like to call them. And sometimes I just feel like getting them up and out. So I think of it as cheap therapy because who's going to read the reader? This is true. Kind of like the therapist needs to go to a therapist, but that's a, not an easy thing to do necessarily. So when I'm talking to, you know, what I do is I talk to my ancestors who are, uh, well, actually, their remains are throughout the house. Um, you know, when they talk back, not always is it, you know, just a coherent, just linear pattern. Sometimes it gets stuck on a loop, so I have to get it up and out, and that would be my Facebook Live rants. And Although maybe it's, it seems to hit home for other people. Well, and you know, though, to me, I just heard a couple of quotes the other day that were really amazing. One of them had to do, one of them has to do, and this is my summer mantra, you guys, my new summer mantra, is imperfect, courageous action. All day, every day. Imperfect, courageous action. In other words, just do it. It's exactly. a, I mean, think about that. Nike had it right on there. Just do it because it doesn't matter whether it's perfect or not when it happens. It doesn't matter whether you're, if you're scared to death to do it, doing it's going to help you not be scared. And this is coming from somebody with 30 or 40 plus years of anxiety. Okay. Let's look at it a different way. Because we've got a lot of people since you deal with techies, right? And I, and I'm seeing, thank you, Miss Shelby for your comments. I appreciate it. Oh, I can't see. Girls, no, the, so Shelby. See. Shelby says you are both seamless on camera and charismatic, and that just like made me made me. It's give her some heart. <laughs> <laughs> you no, guys see what I mean about the camera and her? Yeah. Right. We have techies on here, right? So let's 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 take it to a science point of view because most people don't realize that that's what my degrees are in. Okay. Like most people think I sit around at home laying tarot cards, and smoking weed. Let's just keep it real. That is not what happened. Thank I, you for clearing that up because, yes. No, okay. I, full scholarship to Georgia Tech. That's a Southern MIT. <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, I had a double major in physics and biology. But let's just, just do the basics. Like, if you don't move inertia, come on, let's go to Newton's laws here. Like, then you're not going to get anywhere anyway. So who does it really matter if you don't get it right? Just as long as you're at move, move, move. move. We're, we're, we're part of creation, and creation is supposed to move, change, and grow. Oh, right? the only constant is change, but for some reason there's so many people who are terrified of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're aging right now. It's change. Oh, get no. Up. Get up. Get out. Get over it. Point blank. Period. It's just not worth living. And get out of it. get out of yourself to become yourself. Or just get over yourself. Well, Some get over yourself. yourself too seriously. It's just not that serious. But it's get over yourself to become yourself. So to, to make the change to be you, mm-hmm. you have to get over the you that you think you are so stuck to. Or better yet, get over what you think other people... It's not your business what other people think of you. Point blank period. Well, no, that's true. And that's where a lot of people's issues come in. They're they're terrified of the, the being judged. I hate to break it to you, sweetie, but look. Short, fat, black, female, from Georgia. In Kansas City. Anybody <laughs> can, has been judged, okay? The and judgment I, has you know, been given. The ageless face. So then people are like, I'm, I'm 30 with my kids, and they're like, look at that teenage. I'm like, really? I'm just saying, if I can smile and nod, anybody can. Mm-hmm. If I can get over it, come on now. And so, you know, we're talking about being creative and changing. And we're talking about being imperfect. Things don't have to be, you can create things, and they don't have to be perfect. But that's just it. Anything that you create that... For me, it, it can be like, look, here we go. Look at my big black bick. It's a huge lighter. I love my big black bick. Somebody just laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm betting money that we're going to have comments about that here in just a second. Little acts like 
that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, to me, it really isn't worth living if you can't laugh at it. But that right there, that just created somebody's smile, right? In somebody's day. It doesn't take much. Okay, wait. So it wasn't perfect. Not, and that, and not only, you weren't doing that for you. No. You did I not just, do that for you. You did it for I just did somebody. It. That's you the just thing. did it. Sometimes you just got to do stuff. That's true. It was just an example. Some, how many people... Spontaneity. But not just that. How many people have you walked by on the street and said, Hi, hello, howdy, and had, they look confused like... I did it yesterday in the drive-thru. I look confused at I, I, In the drive-thru, I look at the car next to me, and they're like kind of not in a good mood or something. And I just smiled at them, and the lady got a big old smile on her face. And I'm like, that's what I wanted. Joy spread. Whatever it is. And, and, and apparently about the big Bic, Brittany Lee loves it. <laughs> she loves your big Bic. <laughs> I love it, too. It lights my fire every time. See? <laughs> but that's the point, is we as people have gotten so caught up in our little boxes and our little worlds and our little tunnel vision mm-hmm. that we forget that being creative doesn't mean that we have to be in a major exhibit in a museum. It just means Thank we you. Have to be, art is, it, it evokes emotion from people. Me smiling at somebody else or being silly for is some art. Honest, it evokes emotion. And that in itself is beauty. And that in itself is art. Hence creativity. It's never, people just overthink stuff. And it's never that serious. But then again, what do I know? It's all about the hair for me. <laughs> What, what, what is that? Is that a miniature? It's my li- it's my sippy sippy Starbucks sippy. Oh, that's that's like it's like I'm slowly but surely weaning myself off of my Starbucks mm. addiction. Mm-mm. It's like methadone for Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> it, has, it has it has magic star Starbucks in it. It's it's like the vape for Starbucks. <laughs> Okay. It's one of my Sorry. few props That's that I have on I... my desk, and, and every once in a while I have to have a sip of my fake Starbucks so that I can, you know, keep going. Okay, you well, know. I'm going to have a sip of my fake mountain water because we all know it's from a faucet down the street. <laughs> right? It, I mean, seriously, though, describe the flavor of water. Just give you a minute. <laughs> okay, everybody in the chat, describe the flavor of water. Let's do a, a creativity lesson. How do you describe water? Not, unless you live in Flint or any of the neighboring areas. <laughs> True. And, um, yours yours may donated. say, That's all I have to say. I've rust and poison. Right? <laughs> yeah. If right, you right. don't live there, what does, you know, your... Well, um, we're not like, yeah, mm, mm-mm. Although, uh-huh. where they're going, it'll be us next. Yeah. Ooh, it got heavy. Yeah, see, words are spells. They can affect moods. That's why we spell them. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and, well, and our words have power. Yeah, but so do our thoughts. I think, therefore, I am. Our thoughts, I weigh, have just as much, if not more power than our words. Our words affect other people. They have a tendency to affect other people's affects, but our thoughts can do the same thing. When focused properly, I fully believe that. So t- tell me if more. If you set your mind to do something and follow through with it, so have you done uh, something? I, I'm, I'm looking at the comments. Sorry, oh, I'm I not, didn't. See, I get no comments, guys. So uh, Yeah, so the, the comments oh. about water. Oh, oh, okay. And it happens to be that two of my cousins are commenting about water. <laughs> One of them in Scotland. My cousin Forrester says that water is the drink of life. That is awesome, cuz. I love that. What does life taste like? Oh, then again, yeah. Well, however, the other cousin took it a different way. My cousin um, Junior says that it's tears but less salty. Oh, like white splaining. (laughs) I'm not even gonna, I don't even know if I want to know what that is. I'm allowed to say stuff like that. I can be allowed to say stuff like that, too. Yeah, as soon yeah. as we finish the hair, Diva. My hair, doesn't, my hair doesn't have to show that I am red. 
Yeah, it helps, though. It helps bring out the skin tone. Let's keep it real. Okay, okay. <laughs> Forrester says, come over and find out. You, I oh, want to come I'm over there. Up to date, and if you're willing to, yeah, I'll go half on the ticket, but I, I guess I'll shave my legs and attempt the kilt. Because I, I just got my ancestry. We're girls. Oh, we don't have to do that. Ancestry DNA test back. So it turns out I'm one of the original leprechauns, bro. Just so she's from that other leprechaun. island, cuz. Okay. But, but, but that's okay, cuz, yeah. The, the one thing I figured out about my ancestry a long time ago was that predominantly my ancestry being native, mm-hmm. Scottish, French, uh, Potawatomi, well, Potawatomi native, and also Cherokee Aboriginal. native. Yeah. That, what are the thing that, what are the, is it that those groups have in common? Okay, say it again. French. Mm-hmm. Potawatomi. Okay. Scottish. So Scottish. Okay. And, um, well, Austrian, I guess, but, but, um, Yes. I'm going to go with the majority of you guys are peaceful, with the exception of the French, who got their asses beat by Hades for 300, Alex. I'm going to say that's not what I was going for. Uh, I'm trying. No, okay. that, that most most of them are not too fond of the English. <laughs> well, okay, that, that too. Most of them are not too fond of the English for reasons of colonization. Hmm. I don't think, well, okay, see, but then, not to be funny, the French, kind of guilty of the same stuff they're mad at England about, kind of, oh no, extremely, because they're still taxing countries for, you know, establishing their own freedom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not, no, you know, and my Uncle Francois, you know, I love you, but yeah, even he was like, yeah, we're we're a bunch of hypocrites. (laughs) I think as humans, we're a bunch of hypocrites, actually. Yeah, but see, then we go back to taking ourselves too seriously, so we oh. hold on to Am I allowed to say it? Am I allowed to say my phrase? Owning our... Own your own... Fuckery! Own it! Own your fuckery, people! Damn it! And let's... Own so so now, that we, now that you've said it, <laughs> let's explain what it means. So that people don't understand that we're not just sitting here up cussing in here, because we don't. We cuss when we, we need to. We don't just stick around here cussing. We're not built for that. Steph- Stephanie knows what it Stephanie means. Stephanie so. DeVarro says there are lots of people who aren't too fond of the English. I agree, girl. I totally agree. <laughs> so let's. How, how do you explain own your own? F- F- I'm get. I ha- I'm not usually having trouble with cussing. Own, own your own is. fuckery. Here we go. Say it loud and proud. Mm. Go on, Stace. You can do it. Yeah, usually I do. <laughs> own your own what fuckery. What for those in the back who didn't hear you? Own your own fuckery. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? No, um, seriously. Own so what it means? For me, um, it depends on the aspect, but just take responsibility for your actions or your lack thereof actions, point blank, period. Okay? It's not somebody else's fault that your cycles of, you know, whatever, whether they be good, bad, or indifferent, are what they are. You allowed it to happen. There are no victims, only volunteers, especially if you've grown. Come on now. So, In a metaphysical sense, there are no victims, only volunteers, because on some level, we all decided to come back to deal with the levels and the lessons and all the stuff, even if we came back with no legs and, you know, lobster claws. I'm just saying, we agreed to it in some shape, form, or fashion. So, yeah. Own and it. so no and matter, right. and really no matter what your spirituality is, even if you, if you don't believe, for those who don't believe, that right. we came you back here for something admit, from that medical medical, you still, yeah. You if you break the law, you get in trouble. Or if you, if you cuss, you can't have children listen to your show. Um, we had to have some people mute because we were using our good words. Um. But we, we miss you, Lindsay, and maybe we can I can type in there that we miss you. Somebody you. somebody type in there to Lindsay that we're 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 not um We're done. I've I've yeah, cleaned we're, it we're, up. We're we're, we're cleaning ourselves up. Wait, so, are they old enough to read? Because I could just hold up signs. Um <laughs> one of them is old enough to read, I think. So yeah. Yes. Um 
Okay. Forrester, I'm going to have to talk to you later about the, the English discussion. I'd like to hear your point of view on that um, versus like my the colonization point of view that I have from over this side of the pond. Um, um, yeah, and, uh, you know. And just, frankly, I'd still love yeah, to go. Originally, my people, um, yeah, just not really digging the whole, just the legal transport of a whole race of folks to different places. Just going to throw that in there. Portuguese, too. I don't like, you know, we're a little angry at y'all, too. But go on. I'm listening. I'm back. Yeah. So you've got to, I want, I want to, I want to stick to the concept that we were there of the owning your own like choices, and uh, your owning stuff, your own choices, your, your own choices and decisions. If you do, you know, if, um, when I, when I eat this cinnamon roll that I was gifted just about a half hour ago, uh-huh, I'm listening. When I eat this, I know that it is going to turn into probably more of this. But the same person that brought me this, actually, we just talked last night about we're going to start going to the gym um, next week in the morning. I want a chubby buddy. I don't have a chubby buddy anymore. <sighs> the problem is the gym, uh, I'll have to tell you about it later. Um, okay. it, it could, yeah. But anyway, I know that's going to happen. So I have a choice and a decision. But I also know that drinking this, which is, we already decided, the drink of life, right? That I am going to get rid of the headache I had yesterday because I'm going to be more hydrated. And I'm not drinking soda pop, which is healthier. Not that I'm not going to drink a soda at some point this week, but predominantly I've been drinking water. You've got soda in there, don't you? <laughs> you know I do. I own it. <laughs> Go on. So, so you guys, this is a totally different show than you're used to, and I am loving this because I knew I knew once Kat and I were on a. Um, Evidently, she prepared questions. She sent them to me. I haven't figured out how to open my email because I'm that great of a techie. I didn't actually prepare questions. I prepared myself a script like I always do. Yes, yeah, she, she but didn't have to worry about it. Unable to open. So, yeah, she says no techie. So, this show is not just all about tech. It's actually totally about creativity as well. And I think creativity comes in when it, we're talking about making ourselves and remaking ourselves. One of, my ta one of my taglines, my tagline on my websites is inspiring others to go create themselves and the future. Now... That doesn't always mean that you're... No, it's, that doesn't mean stop the birth control, people. That's not the future she's talking about. Go on, stay. <laughs> you're right. It doesn't right. always mean you're pulling out the markers and coloring. Nope. It doesn't always mean that you're um, creating... It doesn't mean you're creating babies. Mm -mm. Um, it means creating, version? creating things in life like in, in our lives that bring others joy, creating things, creating relationships that bring others joy, not destroying relationships. Okay. See, that, now your petty labelle is coming out and I feel oh, like the thing. I she feel like is. I feel so I'm going to cut you off, right? right. Mm. Mm, she just me up in my Oh, yeah, see? see so. there, there, there is this spirit about me. <laughs> no, um, but also, Just seriously. cut me off in my own show. Or you can really create something, like really create something that's yours. Mm -hmm. You have to know you. And most people are too, people for some reason get the difference between being alone and being lonely so messed up in their heads. And then a lot of people. Oh, I used to. Themselves. I totally so used to mess that up. A lot of people just don't like themselves, so... Oh, God, you know, yeah. So Half my life. Creating something, like, really creating something, because there's nothing new under the sun. Right. Well, there... Uh, no, I have to take that back. That's the standard, but... And mostly the norm, because most people are not willing to spend enough time with themselves, getting to know themselves, embracing themselves, and just learning and owning themselves, so that they can be the next Tesla. And I don't mean they have to be an inventor. I'm just saying there's different ways to straight up comment from Jolie Meyer. Okay. Sometimes you just have to burn it all to the ground before and you can be over. rebuild. Amen, sister. Phoenix, hey. Phoenix rising. Hellers. Hellers. Sometimes you have to, yeah, you do. Sometimes you have to, and 
Like sometimes you sometimes you rebuild it from within and people resist you rebuilding yourself because they okay. think you need to stay where you're at. Like, okay. When okay, I was switching back. when wait, I was wait, wait. no, when I was switching jobs. But it ain't none of your business what they think of you. Uh, you but it, but it, but for a long time, that bothered me. Thinking I needed to do what these people wanted me to do. And there, the, and back to again. Do you do? We got so many adults that okay. No, let me rephrase that. We have a lot of kids, mask and grown people's bodies. Okay, because mm-hmm. children, children play with these imaginary friends. You know what I'm saying? Children. But sometimes you get stuck there by trauma. Hey, but. Identify that, it. We're all walking wounds in some shape, form, or fashion. Right. We're all walking wounds. We have all been hurt. We have all been harmed. The point is, you still got to own it. You still got to get into yourself. You still have to be comfortable, courageous. I don't know. Just For one, you have to see it. You have well, to. You have to be able to identify. I. It, you have. To, I had to identify which trauma was holding me back there before it I actually knew that it was a trauma. Though was mo- is more than most people will ever admit to. So many people are afraid to admit that they're even flawed. Like, dude, we're adulting all is rules. horribly hard, Lindsay. And I've been informed in the chat that the Geek King has arrived. No applause. Just throw comic books at Joe Burke. Moment of silence and comic books for Joe Burke. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, strong. I got you, Joe. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thanks but, for coming but, by, Joe. I can't throw the manga. It, it will, no, no, it'll tear all that up. You don't want um, to tear up good comic books. Jeez. But still, you you at least acknowledge you humble. You were humble enough within yourself to know, wait, okay. I had, to, I had to go there to find out what it was so I could get to the next step. But do you realize that most people... It was scary. ...would not even admit that they're, that, that they're wounded. Like, right. We all, are, we are all in different stages of healing. I don't, different care, I don't care what you're healing from, what trauma, what, you know, mainstream media has shoved down your throat to make you believe that you feel inferior, whatever it, it could, is. We are all in different stages of healing. Whether it, it could be, be a paper cut. It could be a paper cut to a major trauma. Right. And seriously, even something as small as that could be a, a wound that's just... And, not to be funny, it's usually the, the scars you don't see that take the longest to heal and hurt the most. Let's mm-hmm. keep it real. People have a way of dismissing people that are depressed or, you know, something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not a shrink. I'm just saying, really? How? I mean, if you're trapped in your own head and you're unhappy, that's got to hurt. Be nice to people. Don't be dismissive. Anyway, go on, dear. Yeah. Sorry. No. In my mouth. You're 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 right on target, and like, people forgot that we're humans, and humans are supposed to be humane. Like, why is it so hard for humans to be humane? Like, there's just so many folks being people, keeping up with the Joneses. Who cares about being humane? I do. The Joneses have fire. Can we have fire? That's where it started. Um, I can assure you, the Joneses have firecrackers, they live right next door, and they were blowing them up all last night. I was oh. like, look, we got a baby now. They're like, oh, my bad, I can't. But the Joneses are cool people. That's good. But I'm I'm glad. Glad it's you. Yeah, so why I... are you worried about them? My Joneses weren't worried about me last night until I went over there and like, look, I can't sleep. I have to have my face for tomorrow. They're like, oh, my bad, cat. Yeah. Joneses weren't worried about me. Why are you worried about them? They weren't worried about you until. Right. Right. But the thing is, is if you can like it, I can love it as long as it don't affect me. But once it starts to, uh, we're going to have a talk. (laughs) So Joe says, most of the wounds I see in my line of work are mostly mother-father wounds from our parents. Um, People are living in the shadows of the words their parents have said to them. I I will amend what you said, Joe. I'm going to second what you said in a way. But I'm going to, what's that word when they, um, in poker? Where oh, you, uh, where well, you, I, I, I don't know, deal, I, I don't no, know. No, where, where you, uh, poker. where you, poker. somebody in the chat, tell me, what's the word in poker where you, you, you raise somebody or you, you make it a, you, you make the bet higher because you're going to say, uh-huh. you're going to add something to it. So I take what Joe says and I'm going to add, it's not the words of our parent, that our parents said to us, it's everything our environment gave to us during our upbringing. 
And I am going to see your statement. Raise the ante. Thank you, Jolie. And I am going to raise your ante with, this is where we get that term generational curses from. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Now, I, I recently did something on this, and it was the difference between generational curses and generations of the F word with the Y on the end, my favorite word. Yeah. Because, um, see, what's in your environment, even though we could have been raised right across the street from each other, your environment and my environment were going to be totally different. So it's what's allowed. But, again, you have to take stock of, wait a minute, this, if it doesn't fit right inside of you, then at some point you have to say, wait, um, hmm, what am I doing to perpetuate this thing that I know was told me but don't sit right with me? Why am I, number one, allowing it to permeate me? Number two, what am I doing to keep perpetuating it? And number three, now what do I need to stop doing? How do mm -hmm. I fix it? Like, it's, it's, I don't know. That, I, I get what you're but saying, Joe. That's the problem-solving well, yeah, it's, and, and so, and Joe, I wasn't going to try and take away from what you said about it's parent related specifically in, in many cases that you're talking about. I, I don't want to negate what you're saying there. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not disagreeing. I'm, I'm adding to that, that frequently it's not just parents, it's everything that's around that causes that. And when I say environment, I mean that our parents are part of our environment. Not I'm necessarily. Part it's part. our only environment. Let's keep it real. I get where Joe is coming from. Yeah. My point is, once you get to be an adult, okay, like you, at 15 and 16, when you're smelling yourself, that don't count. At 18, you're not even, at 30, barely an adult. 40, you're like, okay, well, my boobs have finally hit my belly button, so I'm adultish. But still, once you have to start doing all the things that, you know, your parents were doing for you that you have to do for other kids or, you know, your minis, at some point you have to go, wait a minute. Right. And now, for I some people that happens at different them. times of life than others. Right. Let's That's be real. Point. But you can blame them for it or you can go, okay, they're only human. They gave me what they could, yep. the best they could. With what little they had or with however much. You know, or with what they came from because somebody else brought up that our parents were also wounded by their parents. And we could go back we're generation. Back we could generation. go back to millennia. But but it, what it is is at some point you have to say. You have to break that cycle. You have to go, this is what I was given. You acknowledge, okay, this is where what I was given, what I lived, what I dealt with. In my life, like the kids I hung around with in high school, everything. How it made you feel. Yeah. This is everything that I have and or have had. This is how it made me feel. This, this is, is the part. Me this is how it, it affects me and those around me today. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm choosing to keep and or get rid of. And that it is okay to get Fine. rid of. You, you have to justify it within yourself. And I know that sounds silly, but why are you choosing to keep certain things? Why? If you can make it make sense to you and it sit well in what I like to call your God center, your spirit, then by all means, have at it. And I don't mean things bad thing. I and it could be bad things, but you decide what parts of the, those things you want to keep. The thing. We don't know until the next generation hits and say, "Hey, that didn't that didn't sit right with my spirit." Cuz for the right. longest time it was okay to be, you know, racist. For just, you know, let's go have a picnic and lynch some people. For the longest time, it was okay to just go bash trans and no homosexual. It's not anymore, but it was for a couple of generations. When the vets came home from Vietnam, what did they And it's get? scary whether it's going to well, be again, but we won't go there. And okay. I got to keep, I got to keep that out of the show, but. Did they get, my point is, is that what was okay before is the, you know, people rebelled against. Yeah. That, that, and that's how we grow. So what I'm saying is just make sure what you're keeping is not out of just comfort zone, out of habit, out of make sure it's one of those things that is has a foundation based in love, first and foremost. Because yeah. all of us need to, at some stage in our lives, we have to tear down those foundations. Our parents loved us, at least, like I said, as well as they could, but they all screwed us up. We're all screwed up. I'm going to screw my kids up. You guys, if you have any... Get over it. And even without kids, you're going to screw somebody's life up somewhere with your actions. But here's the thing. Own it. 
-hmm. and then work on your foundation. Because, see, if you can't even go deep into you and say, wait a minute, I done messed some stuff up. Mm -hmm. How are you going to be better? If you can't own it, how are you going to get better? How, and if you can't even own it, how are you going to do better? You're just going to keep repeating the same cycles. Yeah. Sorry, I went on a rant. I did not mean to go there, but that's just. But so you, but you, you, you own things and then you, you have to, am I going to keep doing this same thing? Am I going to, the, the definition of insanity. We're always at, look, we are always at a crossroads. Okay. We are all at yeah. any given point in time. We are where we're supposed to be, but, you know, we're always at a crossroads. And it's just like most people like to just take the easy path they've been taking with the same amount of baggage. Guess what? Drop the baggage. Take the steep hill. I promise you it's an easier walk because you're not carrying all that extra crap with you. Yeah. But some people want to drag it along with them. Because it's serving with five million bags. It's serving them somehow for something, even if it what it's serving as is as a shield to not see what's real, or or to not see what else is around, or not to have. Here's here's the deal. If I if Stacy if I allow you to make all of my decisions for me, then when poo really gets I got ready, time to make your decisions, but okay. But when when the poo <laughs> And I, I'm not. Ha- I don't have to hold myself accountable, so that way I'm flawless. Okay, so yeah, let me let me give you an example I observed last night. Okay, went out to dinner, one of our favorite places to have hamburgers in town. The fluffy girl in me is angry, but go on. <laughs> and instead of a hamburger, I actually had a meatloaf sandwich, which was amazing. Sorry, I uh, anyway. The fluffy girl can't get mad at me because she already doesn't like the place. No, I like, uh, yeah, you're right. I'll okay. give you that. I love the environment, so, though, but they ruined it. But go on. Yeah. Well, they did a great, they, even though they, it took forever for food to get here. Anyway, so let me get to the story because, you know, I'm going to tell a long story. And, um, <sighs> no, the, sh- the long and short of it was is the people behind us. And, you know, of course, you've got to listen to people behind you because, you know, you just, it happens, right? They were having some kind of disagreement, and it was a couple, and they were having some kind of disagreement. And uh, every I'm other, interrupt, but I bet if you have Venetian blinds, they'd be all broke over and white. Like, okay, go on, dozy. No, I had to like stop myself because I was I was like listening, and I'm like, girl, what were they disagreeing about? I'm not sure what they were disagreeing about, but all I heard was that I heard the girl say, "But I'm a complainer," and I'm like. Really? You can't be mad at that, though. She was honest. I she can't be mad honest. at it, but it was like... Like, but you knew I was a complainer what you got with me. Yeah, but it's like, stuff. it was like, really? <laughs> I love that. I'm using that. I'm using that. <laughs> you can have it, because I wasn't quite sure what I'm to do complainer. with it. Well, I'm a complainer. I don't I'm like, like the sliding. I'm a complainer. You know, but... Hey, but to me, what I got, what I got about it, what I got from it was that she was blaming, she was like making it an easy out by saying, well, I'm a complainer. That's just how it is. Or, dude, you're sitting here with me and you done known from day one that I'm a complainer. I get that. Now. I do Word get that. Okay, so I do get both sides of that in a way. We just got a hashtag from the hashtag queen. Lindsay is the hashtag queen. Fluffy girls angry. <laughs> Cat got a hashtag, and the hashtag. I know there's been several, Lindsay, but hashtag is born. You just birthed. You just birthed the hashtag. Hashtag fluffy girl angry. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be in the show notes. Don't worry. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Are we getting Petty, visits? Petty approves of this hashtag. That's all. That's, no, that's oh, all Petty's just approving. Okay. okay. I thought she was going to talk about the complaining girl again. Oh, God. Now, no. okay, now, I, I will have to admit, the other thing that came out of this girl's mouth that really bothered me. <laughs> the fact that she opened it at all? No, the other part that I heard was, you know, it's like, okay, so I've been married almost 20 years, and to me, like, my husband and I can go to dinner and not say a word to each other and have a full conversation. Yeah, I know okay. that. Okay. Okay. The so comfortable silence. We're, like, we're, 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 those, 
we're those people now. You know, we go to dinner early so that we don't hit the crowds, and so maybe we get the happy hours or whatevers. Okay, so we're the old people like that now. And oh, so we're at dinner like that, and here's this younger couple arguing over something. I'm not even still sure what they argued about because, but then she's, the gal's talking about how. Instagram post, go on. She was talking about how she gets home and then wonders, well, did he work today? Did he wake up today? What time did he wake up? How much, did he actually leave the house? Did he whatever? And I'm like, coming from somebody who works from home, sitting here listening to this gal complaining at her significant other who apparently may work from home. And significant other, the way she was talking to him. Go on. Exactly. I'm like, if Jerry, if if my husband ever came home and wanted to know what time I got up and if I got any work done today, I would think I'm going to, I would have to shut my office door and take a break from that man because and that is see, not happening. Let's see, this is, this is the pattern. Like, the, now, we're, we're we're back to people not knowing the difference between being alone and being lonely. So I would also lonely. I would also give him that same respect if it's the other way. I'm not going to, you know, no way. That's just the not cool. Is that you've got a, a whole bunch of these relationships floating around because people would rather be with somebody than have to deal with themselves. And misery loves company, so, you know, they're going to gravitate to each other. Let's keep it real. Like she said, I'm a complainer. He knew that. He knew that by day okay. two. But so if she wanted to be by date one, when she sent her food back four times, because we all know that chick, we all know her. Let's keep it real. Oh, yeah, Um, yeah. King, I don't like this um, cup. It doesn't look clean. I call them Karens. We all know the Karen that wants to speak to the manager. Um, May I speak to the manager, please? Please? I'm sorry. Uh, No. Mm -mm. Before the order's even taken, she just looks the, the server up and down. I need to speak to the manager. Right. Can't even go out. He knew, he knew, but he, he, he voluntarily jumped into it. Right. Who do we feel bad for? Why are we angry? We're, we're, we're getting, we're getting, I'm loving you guys. I have not, I don't think I've had a show in a while that I've had this much interactive audience and I am just loving, like I'm sitting here watching on my other screen. I'm, I'm telling you what they are half the time. You could go back and read them though. Okay, cool. Most of them I got. Um, oh, you're, you're both in hashtags, right? Like, uh, Lindsay, Lindsay's got early bird special. I just birthed yeah, that exactly. one. I was thinking that too. When she was and like, then, you know, we go in early, we don't talk, yeah. we eat our food, we get our soup and salad and Morty and I go back home and we watch the golden girls, maybe a little Magnum PI and we go to bed, bed by nine. Cause I, I just, I'm tired by then. I'm tired. Go on. Honey. <laughs> and then, and then the Karens. Is another hashtag, Ugh. and hashtag and then, they and then the same haircut. Stephanie says so. Like when Kat and I'll be sitting there and just look at each other and burst into laughter, and then she says, "Ugh, she was treating him like a child who can't be responsible for their time." Amen, sister. Because I'm telling you, if anybody ever asked me, anybody, because but, I work for me now, not but, anybody else, on purpose. Would you ever set up a situation? Where that's even okay? Like, do you think your man would even fix his mouth to say some stuff? Exactly. So somewhere along the way, the pattern was established that it's okay to belittle him. Is he really a man? Or is he a child? I'm just going to throw that out there. Because if a woman is running a man like that, he ain't really a man anyway. Well, or she acts... Okay, you know for those who have kids, the testicles are in her purse. And see, oh, I don't want anything... Daddy, right. Daddy, I don't want anything to do with holding on to, well, okay, let me rephrase this. <laughs> well, wrong. I don't want to have... Say that with a straight face. <laughs> I do not want to have ownership. I will not have ownership of anyone's yes, testicles. Because it's not a partnership. It's an ownership. It's I a will not. I refuse to own... Exactly. Someone else's testicles. Although, oh, so I, oh, Lindsay has a good question though. She does okay, have go a good question. It. Is it for me or for you? I don't kind of. I don't know. I, it's for the room. Well, for the room. Seat. I think it's for the room. So everybody in the room says, but what if he does act like a child? 
but you've but allowed she it. she took that okay. on if if he was if, if and let's say this let's say this hypothetical scenario let's say he does act like a child either you want to mother a man that acts like a child or you send him back to his mother point blank yeah. period you want to be his mama and that's why you with him or you just realized it because you wear a helmet to bed and like to lick windows and you're slow you just look nope. slow cat Keep it real. No, I'm keeping it real because I know. I, I just don't crazy. like that phrase. That phrasing. I'm sorry. Well, okay. How about this? That bothered me a little. You were voluntarily blind to the fact that he would rather have someone think for him and be mommy, and then all of a sudden you had this, you know, so I think, awakening. Yeah, I think that's what this this gal. Send him back to mom. Let her finish raising him. Yeah. If she's dead, then he can sit on the grave and wait like, for some knowledge. I don't know. When I got my husband, he was fully grown. <laughs> well, he was. <laughs> he was <laughs> like I was at the mall the other day. I found the perfect. Husband. I was actually at a bar in this little town down the road, and you were at the bar girl, what was you wearing? Sorry, sorry. Go I'd on. been at a hog roast. I think I was just wearing jeans and something. In a tube top. No. I'm gonna picture I was you way past tube tops by then. I'm going to picture you in a tube top anyway and some Daisy Dukes. Because that's where my mind goes with all roast and bark. But go okay. on. Yeah, so, no, it was actually a bar to listen to jazz. A blues. I'm sorry, it was blues. <laughs> Mama Ray okay. was singing blues. Okay, so... And so I went to... Oh, now you're in a sultry red gown. Go on. Ooh. Well, and I ended up on his lap. A short, sultry red gown? I mean, I you're just I just met him. I had you, just met the man. I, I was. I kind of went... <sighs> Romance. And I love him dearly. I do love him dearly. He is... Young and in love. Enjoying the early bird special. <laughs> young, yeah. Young as in older than you. No, but still young but because then again. of love. Yeah. Your love is always young because it's always new every time you see each other. It's great. Yeah. But there's no way there's no way I would sit and say to him, Well, but I you know I'm a complainer. Really? Yeah, but there's no way he'd be with a woman who would even fix your mouth to say that. Like a trash like is all he would thing. laugh. He would laugh if I said that he, in fact, right after the lady said it, I turned to my husband and I said, Are you hearing what's going on over here? And you know, yes, yes I am he's like Mm-hmm. He's like, well, no, he was like, what are you doing listening to the people behind us? And I'm going, I can't help but overhear it. Please let me unhear it. And, and so, you know, he's like. I, I kind of like the, I, I don't know, I'm a people watcher. He's a people watcher, too. Don't I, don't let that all. The man, he, he loves going to the, he used to love going to the casino that had the overlook. Mm -hmm. so that he could stand up at the top and look down and watch people. But see, like him, I don't want to hear them. Because once again, people versus humans. Humans are humane. People are just, they're people. Um, <laughs> so I like to just come up with my own little conversations that they're having in my head, and it just amuses me. I, I get why he would be like, well, why are you even listening, babe? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. you Looking up, so I'm guessing there's more comments. There was. I know. It's not, I, 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 if I had, I have two screens, and so, like, I have two screens, three cameras, and actually I have three screens and four I can't even cameras. open my email correctly. And Kat can't open her email correctly. So, yeah, like. So I'm still creative. Yes. And we haven't even really gotten into, like, specifically about readings. All the stuff. So yeah. let's let's end up on that just a little bit. One of the, the other comment was Miss, um, okay, there's two two other. There was another hashtag, man mommy. There yeah. was um, another, uh, there's something about some guys needing lot mommy their whole lives. So what hashtag I was saying was I'm a small town, small huh? town girl living in a lonely world. I, I think somebody's listening to some music in there. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, Soylent, Julie, Jolie says, Soylent Green is people. People. I know. I love that line. And if you don't know what that line means, go look up the movie, Soylent no, Green. No, no, Go watch no, it. No, no, no. Don't give them any hints if they don't know. They just need to go watch it. No, no. What? Okay, what? 
if they don't know, they're just not in the know. Moving on. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just, I was just being one of those snobs, like the sci-fi snobs. I get mad. And then Jen, Jennifer Baston says, "I'm with Cat. I can't open my email either." Jen, you know you can too. Tanika, trying to appease me, Jen. I appreciate it. I am loving all of these people in this audience. Like, if you've okay, put a put a one in the chat box if you've ever watched Creative Connections before, and put a two in the chat box if you've never watched it before. And put a three in the chat box if you're going to keep watching it. Come on. I'm waiting for the chat. That's playing with the lighter again, you guys. I was offering the big black bick signed and loved on. Oh. Autographed? Why not? There's, yeah, we can do that. Cat's going to mail now. Cat would. Oh, and you know what? Oils. I was supposed to announce the winner today of the coloring books. Well, I checked the other day, I checked last night, and there were no entries for the coloring books. So we're going to have to do another contest for the coloring books and have people enter. But I think, I'm going to... the big black big to it, too. Okay, so I'm going to ask this. Kat, would you mind being on my show next week and we'll go deeper and actually talk about creativity next week? Deeper, you say? Today has been a sultry show. <laughs> sultry. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, I would love to. You I guys mean, keep up the... Not with me. Jolie's not I'm been... I have no life. Jolie's not been here before, but she's hitting... Um, she's going to come back and watch. Tanika's watched before. Lindsay's watched before. Okay, where's everybody else? I know that... I know my cousin Forrester's watched before, because he actually watched my very first show. I was so excited. I had an international audience my first show. And this show changes every week. It just, like, at first we did some very business-like, very um, uh, productivity business. Glasses for that, too. And technology. And yeah, now yeah. we're shifting to the creative. Uh, we're going to talk about creativity. So the, this, the summer shift, we're, what we're working on next is, and I'm very serious, I actually am very serious about this, is the imperfect, courageous action. <laughs> oh, so you're just going to follow me around all day? No, I, I, I don't. Ain't nobody, like, ain't no, nobody got time for that. Um, <laughs> well, oh, I could just do webcam, but that would involve me knowing how to run one. I just you turn my live on and be like, hey. Rebecca hey, Meyer hey. says she's going to come back and watch again. Okay, so you guys, 2 o'clock next week on Thursday. Kat, real quick, before we jump off, where can people find you? Um, you can go to caterpillarreads.com, right? Is that I my website? So. Yep. Um, or you can just go to my Facebook page because it's public and open. And so you can it. So will you pop some emojis in the chat later after we get done? I will do that. So that people yeah. can click on you and follow you. And yes, then click me, click me all you want. They I'm can, glad you was a friend. They because... can, they can click your bic. No, 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 but they can click me. <laughs> they can you click my biggest you. Click until someone wins it. Okay, okay. So they can click you until they can click the bic, maybe, and follow her. <laughs> put put notifications, <laughs> turn notifications on so you can watch when she goes live. Because I guarantee you, if it's a serious moment, you will learn something. If it's a funny moment, you will learn something. Learn something, yeah. If it's a funny moment, you will also laugh until you might have. You may have to be watching on your phone. Hang, hang on, yeah, on your phone in the bathroom because you might have to go a little. I make them bladders leak. You know, I roll like that, pimp hand strong. <laughs> you may have to. You may be laughing so much that you're going to have to be in the restroom because you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna laugh till you, till you cry, till you pee, till you whatever. Um, I have loved having you. I I have loved having you on here because I know that you and I roll this way, but I've never had it on. We've never had it recorded. I, I was so nervous, so I I hope I did well. I, I hope she I was all I worried that her hair was gonna be too big, and she was no, all worried about that the hair. I was just I know my mouth. And I, I just, and, and, but you know, what's funny. It was your pet, your inner petty label that started to bubble, not mine. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to go back and watch the replay and find out whose petty came up first. 
yours all day, every day. My petty, I have made friends with my demons, thank you. That's why they have names. <laughs> Make them bladders leak is the new hashtag. We've got oh some good gross. hashtags today. Oh, my gross. I'm going to need for you to delete that one real quick. <laughs> Oh, no. Pimp Teresa, Pimp Teresa Williams says, love the show. See us next week. Um, so if you want to be on Creative Connections, watch in the chat after the show. I'll put up the links to everything. And there's a link that where you can apply to be on the show. There's also a link where you can apply to guest blog. Can, can, and I, nominate, can I nominate somebody? You can. Okay, because there's this awesome lady. We talk about creativity. She makes these spirit boxes. Taliba Corley. Okay. Have you ever seen your spirit boxes? I think okay, I have. I'm, I'm going to... So you I'm, need to hit her up and give her the link. Yes. Okay. She definitely needs to be on because her stuff is beautiful. So you guys look in the in the chat. If for some reason you can't find that, you can always go to creativeconnections.com. If you're one of my friends. Yep. C-R-E-A-T-I-V connections.com. If you're listening on podcast, just go to creativeconnections.com. All of our replays are there, and all of the links to find Cat, all of the links to get um, to be on like the show. Well, it's not like I'm hard to find. Um, yeah. Yeah, just watch for the hair. Um, all of the links to be on the show, all the links, you know, any anytime we talk about stuff, I don't know where to find a big black pick, but so we probably won't put that on. My um, baby, I got them all on deck. <laughs> she's got all of them. So Cat has all the big black black. Say that three times fast. Oh, I can, but you almost didn't. Did you? <laughs> I can't. I, the yeah, other sometimes it just doesn't happen right. Um, and we will be back next week to talk about being courageous, um, yes. imperfect, and that. courageous. And I want to be able to tell you guys watch, watch my page because I'm going to be putting up more and more. Especially if you're in Kansas City, there's some things about imperfect, courageous action that are coming. Um, I also happen to know that if you're in Georgia, one of the people wa watching, Miss Tanika, if you're still in here, um, pop your link in because oh, Tanika, sorry, Miss Tanika is going to have some stuff on her pages about imperfect, courageous action. We're going to be telling you guys about some things coming that are local, but I'm going to tell you about them even if you're not local. I want you guys to know about this because... It's getting ready to blow up. We are going. And, that, and, it's and, so good, good. Just it's so not about the imperfect as it is about just the action and the courage. And it's about the courage, about. the action, and the connection. Right. And so, creative connections is going connect this na this next Ooh. chunk this this summer. We're talking all about connection. Speaking of which. <laughs> Thanks for allowing me to be on your show. Now you're going to make me cry. <laughs> and I'd like to thank all the little people that I had to sleep with and step on to be on the show, too. <laughs> thank you for keeping my shoes clean. Go on, dear. You were saying. <laughs> you, you guys see what just happened? That's just a glimpse of what happens in the videos. The hell is you talking about? You don't know happened? which character <laughs> is coming on. To the video at any given moment to talk about very serious, two very funny things. So, um, yeah, even if you can't laugh at it, how about that? That's right. So we will see you next week at two o'clock central on Thursday. Two central. Bye, boss. <laughs> And we'll see what language Kat is speaking next week. All right, no. And we'll actually be serious-ish. Maybe. Like that at the end. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Maybe we won't. How serious is not capable of being. So, everybody come back and check us next week. If you're watching the replay, drop the same answers in the chat, because I want to be watching the chat to see who's watched, who hasn't, and what you, um, how you define water. You know, the among taste, other things. The taste of water. Let's the taste see. of water. How you define the taste of water. So we will see you next week. And tastes like sadness. Yes, just with no Refreshing salt. Refreshing sadness. I don't like that. We'll see you guys next week. Well, we're, we're going to sit here sad for a little bit. Bye. 
Thank you for participating in our podcast today. You can find Stacy at Stacy Bayuka on any social media channels. Support us with your purchases in our tech shop, CRE number 8, TIV Connections dot tech. Music courtesy of Enneagram Records, Scotty McBee, Upper Deck Studios, and Scott McBee. We appreciate their creativity, originality, and sponsorship of the show. Find the intro song Brooklyn and 59 in iTunes using the link in our show notes below. Our podcast website is CRE number 8, TIV Connections.com. Thank you from Creative Connections, bringing creatives and geeks together all over the planet one tiny podcast at a time. If you are listening on your favorite podcast website, come by and check out our previous episodes on our websites. See you next week at 2 p.m. Central for the next Creative Connections.